gotta talk. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. There we go. What's up guys? Um, so today we're gonna have a car talk. Uh, and I, I'm gonna call this series Explaining the Narrative. As you can see, I already got, you know, my stuff together, kind of. The topic is um, anyone who tells you that you need to love yourself before you work out is lying. I'm gonna say that again for you guys. Anyone who tells you that you need to love yourself before you work out is lying. Now, I'm gonna tell you why I think this. It might not make sense just how I said it, but I've hopefully with a little more explanation It'll help you understand my perspective of this topic. So let's get into it. All right, so the self-love journey is a very popular journey. As we all know, we see a lot of people talking about self-love, self-care, you know, self this, self that. Um, very, very popular topic, you know, that's okay. But it is also a very long one. Um, anything that is worth having takes a ton of time which is totally normal you know that happens but yeah um there's that the reason why i say this is because when i started working out i was going through a lot of a lot of like a ton of it <laughs> and one of those fecal matters was this really toxic on and off relationship that I had with a guy. Um, it was just really bad. So we're just gonna go ahead and paint this scene, all right? All right, so imagine this. It was December 31st and my then boyfriend had been out of town for what it seems like was a tremendous, what it seemed like to me was a tremendous amount of time. He was in a neighboring state with some of his family and friends that I didn't even know existed. And I felt like I was becoming a distant memory to him since he only gave me five minutes of his time or less. Long story short, this felt like it was the end, but me being the cancer that I am, I still felt like closure was necessary which I no longer believe it even exists and I called him about 78 times okay now I'm just embarrassing myself let's move on basically the point of my tragic breakup story was that it was a big part of my weight loss journey and it was like one of the biggest things that actually fueled it of course there were like a ton of different other things but that was the most memorable thing to me um that really kick-started my weight loss journey that actually got me into working out and it wasn't necessarily because I was trying to look good for a certain person or it yeah it wasn't like I was trying to look good for the person that I'm no longer with it was and it wasn't even for like anyone else, like anyone else of the male or female species, like it's it's not even about that. The reason why I, I started working out was because I felt like, I felt really, I didn't love myself. And the only way I felt love was through that person that I was with at the time. And that's not the best thing but that's what happened I mean of course you know my family loved me um to some extent I loved myself but it definitely was not as much as I love myself now um I was a lot less confident in myself um just being with that person really kind of tore me down and it wasn't necessarily at the beginning that that happened but as we moved closer towards the end of like our actual like entire 
entirety with each other so yeah i wasn't i didn't love myself pretty at all actually until i started working out and the reason why i said that you don't have to love yourself before you work out is because i didn't like at at all like i could look at my body and i knew i didn't like it in any way i didn't like how i looked and i felt like it was time for a change it was you know december 31st it turned into um january 1st you know because new year's and since the breakup was already happening with that person i felt like okay if i'm letting go of this situation why not just add something that actually might benefit me and might do something that makes me happy and makes me possibly love myself more and feel more in tune with my own being than I felt at that particular moment. So that night, well, night, day, January 1st, you know, New Year's, you stay up, it's kind of night because December kind of day, you know, in that time range, you know, the 12 o'clock range, I um, decided to do a little workout right then and there I was like all right I'm already letting go of something let me add something that's a lot better to my life let me do that with ease this person's going around my car please don't hit me I'm sorry I'm recording I feel so bad so like I was saying I started working out that night I did a short I think it was a Chloe Ting workout which I know she's kind of under fire under some type of fire right now because people don't really agree with how she does things that's a whole nother video but I'm pretty sure it was one of her workouts either one of her workouts or I just made something up in my head but basically I did a little workout and that was me setting um setting the tone for the new year I knew for the, re for the new year, I wanted to lose weight. I wanted to actually like how I looked and, you know, just be what I've always thought of myself to look like. And in that moment, what I looked like was not it for me at all. Like, thought I looked like trash. I mean, I did it, but I did, you know, it was, it was a weird situation. I kept working out more and more, and as I continued torturing myself in the gym, I started to feel a lot better about myself outside of it. I started to like how I looked in the mirror. I started to like the muscles on my arm, even though, you know, it ain't much, it ain't much there, but you know, it made me happy. I started seeing, you know, the collarbone marks I don't even know if you can see them right now I started seeing the veins in my hands um my eyes started sinking you know my face got smaller I got smaller and throughout that journey that I'm still going through today throughout that entire process it just made me feel a lot happier and a lot more comfortable with me to the point where I don't even wear the same type of clothing that I wore then. Like, could you really see me going out in this when I was bigger? When my stomach was like, I actually ate food, so that's why it's kind of poking out. <laughs> but if it was like this big and I was wearing this, I didn't feel comfortable in that. But now I feel more than comfortable going out in some jeans and, you know, a cropped type of shirt. And overall, working out pretty much may boost not only boosted my confidence but made me love myself to an extent that i've never loved myself before 
and it's really hard to come to terms with sometimes when you start and you want to get to this end goal and it it seems realistic but you just can't fully imagine how good you feel until you've reached it and now that I am where I am even though it's not exactly where I want to be I feel a lot better than I did before and I love myself a lot more than I did back then I don't know if any of this made sense um I kind of kind of sort of I'm in that crying type mood we're not gonna do that because I don't want to cry on YouTube at all that might change in the near future who knows <laughs> but that's just my take on the issue I feel like you don't necessarily have to start from a point of loving yourself everyone has to start somewhere I didn't start from loving myself I started from hating myself and that fueled me to work out to the point where I love myself to the extent <laughs> that I do today and I said love myself so much somebody should take a shot every time I say love myself because I definitely said it a lot I can't because you know I'm sober <laughs> also 21 you know i didn't tell you to but my birthday recently passed on july 18th and i turned 21 and it was it was an interesting experience i probably won't talk about it right now but it was something so yeah um i guess that's all i really want to say for this video uh i know it probably won't be as lengthy as it is now while I'm recording because you know I'll slice and dice a good bit until it's where I want it to be I feel like you can you can love yourself and work out you can not love yourself and work out now I'm not saying like torture yourself in the gym of course not like I don't condone that I don't think anyone should do that so if that's what you think that is as hating yourself this is getting pretty lengthy already so i am gonna end this here and i will talk to you guys in the next one i hope you enjoyed my little ramble it wasn't much of a car talk it was definitely a car stutter because i did that a lot a car blank because my mind was completely gone after the first few seconds of saying what I was saying um, but yeah I will see you guys in the next one I hope you guys have a beautiful day I sound like such a cliche I'll see you guys in the next one bye I didn't even hit stop. <laughs>